Hello guys and welcome to another video on this channel. As some of you know, there is a new version of the Filmomat, which is the new 2020 rotational Filmomat system. And in this video, I want to show you a little bit how this system works, what the key features are, and yeah, hopefully we will get some C41 films processed. Okay, so the centerpiece of this new rotational system is this new processing tank. It has a tank connector here, which connects the tank to the Filmomat. And um, apart from that, you have this tank cap. And the special thing is that it has a little motor inside here, which drives the film spirals. The processing tank itself just remains steady. Only the film spirals are rotating inside the tank. The film spirals itself are just these common Yobo 2500 spirals and these are loaded onto this little plastic piece here so you just put them on like that and as you can see you can put a total of four film spirals on this piece which allows you to process a total number of four 35 millimeter films in a single run. Now, of course, you can also convert these spirals to the corresponding 120 version, like this. And then you can put this also on here. So now you can process two rows of 120 and two rows of 35 in a single run. Now, once you have loaded everything onto the spirals in the dark, you just take this and put it inside the tank, like this. As you can see, it rotates freely now. And now you just take this tank cap, put it on here, and then rotate it until it snaps in place. You have to take care that the cable is on the opposite direction than this tank connector. Then you just use this metal clamps to close everything. And that's it. All right, so let's quickly generate a new process. And here I just use the values given in the instruction manual of the TTNI chemistry. And then I specify the temperature and the rinsing pattern. Once you press start, the machine is heating up. Okay, so while the machine is heating up, we can already set up the chemistry. So I have here the Titinal C41 kit. Let's just start with uh, the color developer. So this comes in three different parts that we have to mix together. I like to use these things here. So with this you can measure very exact volumes, which is much more exact than using, for example, Something like that. Okay, so let's start with part one. Let's open that up and just measure 100 milliliters. Okay, so now we have exactly 100 milliliter of the part A and then grab a large cylinder and put this in here. Yeah, and then just move on with the, the second part. Always rinse these flasks in order to get everything in here. And then in the last step, fill it up until 500 milliliters. And here we go. That's our color developer. All right, so the film is now loaded into the tank. And now I just connect this to the machine. And don't forget to connect the electrical cable to the film mount. Now it's ready. All what's left to do now is to fill in the chemistry and to fill in the rinsing water. And once the machine has reached the desired temperature, it will start automatically.
Okay, so now the film is finished and I can just take out the tank. Disconnect it from the machine. Okay, so now let's open the tank. And see what we got. Yeah, as you can see, all the films are properly processed. There's just one step missing now, and that is the stabilization step. You can't do the stabilization step inside the machine because the stabilization fluid will create a lot of foam and it will also create contamination in the filmomat. So you have to do this outside. I have the stabilization solution here and I will just pour it in like that. <clears throat> then put on the cap again. And this time putting the cap on so that the cable is on the same side as this connector. Close the lid. And now just place it like this on the bench and connect the cable again. And now you can um, run the so-called manual control. So you just enable the rotation manually. And now the spirals are rotating inside the stabilization bath. And you just leave that for like one minute and then it's okay. Okay, so one minute is now over. So let's stop the rotation, disconnect the tank and open it. And now the film is completely finished and ready to dry. Alright, so this is how you process C41 films with the brand new 2020 Filmomat. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about the machine, make sure to check out the link in the description. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you want, you can also follow the Filmomat on Instagram. And I will probably post some of the images that we processed today in the following days. Thank you for watching. Bye.